last tutorial, we learned how to attach images with our tweets. In this tutorial, we'll display those images along with our tweets. As you can see in front of us, we have the images along with the tweet. If we click on an image, it enlarges the image. If you click on it again, it dismisses the image. So let's begin. As always, for people who have not been able to follow along in this video series, the starter project files for this particular video and the completed project files of this particular video are available on GitHub. The link for the same is given below the video in the description. So coming to the main storyboard, our aim is to insert an image view between this tweet view and this tag view. So select the table view cell and let's increase its size to 190. Select the stack view and bring it down. Let's update the constraints. Now let's insert an image view between this. Control drag from the image view to the tweet view and apply vertical spacing. Control drag, apply leading, trailing and add the constraints so that the width of the image view is equal to the tweet view. Also, control drag from the image view to the stack view to add vertical spacing towards the bottom. What we'll also do is we'll set the height of the image view to be fixed at 77. So we'll add the constraint. And one more thing we need to do is we need to add the bottom constraint for the stack view. So let's select the stack view and control drag to the container view and set bottom space to container margin. Let's give this a default image of the suits wallpaper and aspect fill and also we'll enable user interaction and we'll clip sub views so that the image does not overflow out of the box. Now coming to the tweet view, let's select the tweet view and deselect scrolling enabled from its attributes. This will ensure that the tweet view expands as the text inside it increases. Also coming to its constraints, delete the constraint that limits its height to 48. Since we have a top constraint and a bottom constraint to the stack view, the size will automatically increase. Now let's run this and see if our layout is working. As you can see, the image is not displaying exactly as it should and everything else is getting compressed or cut out. Let's fix this. Come to the view did load method. We basically need to add two lines of code. Self dot home table view dot row height is equal to UI table view automatic dimension and self dot home table view dot estimated row height is equal to let's say approximately 140. Basically when you set the row height as UI table view automatic dimension, the table view is told to use the auto layout constraints and contents of its cells to determine each cell's height. By giving it an estimated row height, we reduce the workload of the app because it doesn't have to calculate an arbitrary value itself. It knows that it's approximately going to be around 140 and it improves the performance of our table view. So now let's run this and see it should be fixed. As you can see now, the image is displaying nicely. If we come down, we have this tweet, which is a random tweet, but it is very long, but that is also getting displayed perfectly. Now that we have our image view displaying perfectly, let's get the image that the users uploaded along with the tweet and display that. I start by going to the home view table view cell. Let's create an outlet for the image. Let's call it tweet image. Also we create an outlet for the height of the image. So let's call this image view height constraint. I'll tell you why we need this later. Coming back to the home view controller, 
we need to start by checking if the tweet has an image. So for that, let's copy this line of code here. We'll say if tweets self dot tweets dot count to get the last one first dot value. We'll go for picture this time, and we'll check if this is not equal equal to nil. Then we'll say let picture equal to same line of code picture and we will force downcast it as a string and we will say let url equal to nsurl string and we we'll put in the picture then we we'll just give it a nice uh, border radius So we basically gave it a corner radius of 10, we gave it a border width of 3, and then we gave it a border color of white color. Now remember we had created that uh, outlet for the height constraint. So here in the else block, we'll say, if there is no image, we'll say image dot hidden equal to true. This will hide the image view, but it still occupies space in our layout. So what we have to do is we say cell dot image view height constraint dot constant equal to zero. But since the cells are being reused, we have to make sure that when the image does exist, the cell dot weed image view is visible. That is hidden is equal to false and cell dot image view height constraint dot constant is equal to we have to create a default value for the height constraint so coming to the top over here we create a variable called default image view height constraint of type CG float and we give it a value equal to the height of the image which is 77 come down here and say that if the image exists, set, set its height to default image view height constraint. Now you may have noticed that we still haven't set the image for the tweet image view. That is because we want to download the image asynchronously. And for that, we'll use a library called SD web image. I'll put the link of this library in the description below. This is amazing and helps us not only download images asynchronously, but also caches the image for us and improves the performance of our table view, which otherwise would be quite buggy if we try to do it ourselves. So basically to install this, we can come down to the installation section. We can use CocoaPods as we have been doing. Let's copy this line of code over here. We'll come into the project folder in the terminal, open up the pod file. And at the bottom, we'll add that line of code. Exit out and just say pod install. Before we use it, we just need to build our project so that the project can detect the library. So press Command B to build the project. Once the build is succeeded, we can import SD web image. And now we can display our image with just one line of code. Say cell dot tweet image force unwrap that dot sd underscore set image set image with URL and we'll use this one which has the NS URL which we'll call URL as we've already converted it here and for the placeholder image we'll just say UI image named and we'll just give it the default Twitter icon. Let's run this and see now. As we can see, we are seeing the image come up as we expected, but the cells without the image are not collapsing. Let's go fix this. So come here, click on the stack view. Come to the constraints. You'll notice that the stack view has a constraint which says 
top space to tweet equals 81. If you remember when we had moved the stack view down, we had updated the constraints which caused this constraint to be created. Basically what this constraint is doing is it's always trying to maintain a distance of 81 from the tweet view, which is not what we want when the image collapses. So let's delete this out. Let's try this out now. As you can see now, that the, that the tweets that have an image are showing the image and the ones that do not have an image are nicely collapsed. One last thing that we need to do is allow the user to tap on the image in the tweet and view a larger version of that image. We'll do that by adding a, a tap gesture recognizer to the image. So let's do that. Let's create the recognizer called let image tap equal to UI tap gesture recognizer Target will be self, action will be it's a selector. The method that we'll create is going to be called did tap media in tweet. And now let's just create this method. Before we create that method, let's add this to our tweet image. Image tap. And now let's create this method. Coming here to the bottom. This method is did tap media in tweet, like we mentioned, sender is going to be a UI tap gesture recognizer. And inside this, the code we need is the same code that we put in in the me view controller. Here we had allowed the user to view a bigger profile picture. So let's just copy this. It's inside the view picture action that we created in the did tap profile picture method. So let's copy this, come back to the home view controller and paste this in here. So we create the image view. We set the new image view equal to the image view dot image, set the frame equal to the self, set a background color, content mode, enable user interaction, and also add another gesture to the larger image to dismiss that image when the user taps on it again. For that, I just create the method here. It's going to be called dismiss full screen image. And again, sender will be a UI tab gesture recognizer. And all this will do is it will say sender.view dot remove from super view. All errors are gone now and we can try this out. Here we have the tweets with the image. Let's tap it. As you can see that the image has become bigger tapping it again dismisses the image. I hope you guys like this tutorial and try this out. We'll build the rest of the app in the next tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.